Hello and uh, bonjour, welcome to the second uh, Eco Times review of the year and I thought that they would never happen but yes, I've been asked to uh, make a review for my very own country yesterday I'm taking you to France So this year it's going to be off 61st entrant at Eurovision and so far we had five victories but let's face it they are very old victories 58 60 62 69 and 77 last year in Kiev uh, Alma and her song Requiem reached a very respectable 12th position uh, but let's say we were a bit disappointed uh, and that France uh, France Television especially is hoping for more in Lisbon in order to do so, uh, France has decided to organize uh, a national final called Destination Eurovision and let's say that was a perfect challenge and they succeeded. Um, we had two semi-finals and the final will take place next Saturday, uh, January 27th in Paris with eight songs, four from each semi-finals and the outcome, uh, the result, will be decided by 50% televote and 50% international jury. Uh, ten heads uh, of delegations uh, will give uh, their points on Saturday. Uh, those heads of delegation comes from Armenia, Belarus, Bulgaria, Finland, Italy, Iceland, Israel, Russia, Sweden and Switzerland. Yes, no French jury this time because the three French jurors, Amir, uh, Isabelle Boulet and Christophe Willem were involved in the semi-finals only. Uh, so now let's uh, have a look at the, six, uh, the eight sorry, uh, entrants and uh, this is my personal ranking, okay, you don't have to agree. Um, so let's proceed with the song that I would rate eighth uh, on, the, on the big night and this is Max Cinnamon with uh, Aya, which means somewhere else. Um, he was the big, big, big surprise uh, of yesterday uh, semi-final because no one expected that very young guy, 16 years old, with a self-penned song um, to reach the final. And actually, he did very, very well. Um, it's not a bad song, but I'm afraid it's not either a very good song because um, if I'm being very honest here, I can't remember it. I can't remember it, this song won't, uh, won't get inside my head. Uh, so I don't think that's a good sign for uh, Eurovision, but uh, congratulations to this uh, very young guy uh, for achieving such a good result yesterday and maybe on Saturday, one never know. Song number seven uh, is, my song number seven is Luca with his uh, urban track uh, Mamma Mia. I don't get it. How could this song reach uh, the final uh, after the semi-final one? There were much better songs in my opinion. Uh, okay, this is an urban track, uh, very fashionable at the moment in France, um, but I don't really like the staging, I don't care about the lyrics, uh, and the voice has nothing wow to my ears. Um, and yeah, okay, it's good looking, maybe that helps. Uh, uh, so now, uh, song number six, it's Igit with his very uh, French uh, entry called Lisboa, Jerusalem. Um, if you've ever been a tourist in Paris, maybe you've heard that kind of songs on the streets of Montmartre, for example. Yes, this is very, very, very too French even uh, for me. Um, very poetic. For sure, really nice lyrics, a very clever use of the names of European cities. Even if I must say, yesterday in the background there was a, a, some problems with uh, putting Jerusalem on the map because they put it in Turkey. But anyhow, uh, that's a really good song. I like it. But could it please uh, a Eurovision audience, a European audience? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, you have to be French to to love that one. Uh, song number four is Nassi with uh, Rêve de Gamin, which can be translated by Kids Dreams. Um, the song is good, the studio version of the song is not bad, but I'm not really um, uh, a big fan of the staging and of his voice live. Um, also, as Isabelle Boulet said yesterday, and I think she was right, this song has two complicated lyrics, okay, and uh, it's kind of a bit, a bit messy. It's up-tempo, it's modern, okay, it has this kind of 
pop, urban, but also a bit of ethnic uh, vibe. Um, but once again, a bit like Iggy before, I don't think this could be uh, uh, the choice of, uh, uh, of a European audience. Now we're going to proceed with my top four, and I must say that out of these four songs, anyone could win, in my opinion, and I wouldn't be disappointed. Of course, I had to rank them, but even song number four uh, could be uh, could make me proud in Lisbon. So song number four is a duet, Madame Monsieur, Monsieur with uh, Merci. Very nice song, really, really nice song. Uh, um, the staging is very simple, but it has to be with such a song because if you don't get the message, it's a song about the, uh, uh, a child born on a boat, uh, an immigrant child born on a boat. Okay, that's kind of a very dark song, but a dark message given in quite a pleasant way. Uh, and it's, the song itself is, is not really dark. The issue there for me is that the song is a bit flat, okay, there's no climax reached at any point of the song uh, and also uh, the main interest of the song is the, is the text, the lyrics, but unfortunately uh, if you don't get the lyrics you don't get, you don't get the song really and I don't think people will take time to read a translation of the song before voting on the big night. Uh, song number three and he's definitely the hot favorite to win on Saturday because he's the latest winner of The Voice in France. It's Lisandro Cusci with Eva. Really good radio track. Okay, very radio friendly song, modern, um, that would please many, 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 many people. Okay. Um, but there, once again, I have a few issues with that song, even if it's the hot favorite. First, is this song uh, very original? Not really. Okay, I don't think it would stand out on Eurovision stage. Uh, we've heard that before. Second, uh, okay, Lissandro is making the show, but it's a bit too much. And these Michael Jackson wannabe uh, things, and especially the moves, uh, I don't really, uh, I don't really enjoy them. So I think first, Lissandro should forget about these dancing moves at the end of the song. They are pointless in my opinion. And last issue with that song, could this song please um, international juries? I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm not sure. Maybe the audience, yes, obviously, but juries, no, because it has nothing, nothing special for me. Song number two, and this could have been my favorite, of course, is uh, Emiliana with OK Ukao. That's a very, very powerful song. Performed entirely in French, but here, that's not an issue, okay? Because the words make the music. She's a very good performer. Of course, of course, the staging has to be improved. She's a bit static on stage, but the performance was really good, really, really good. Uh, and I can even see this song become a hit on uh, French charts uh, very easily. And it could conquer Europe um, because it's very French, but modern, a very good voice. Uh, but is this really a Eurovision uh, track? Not sure, not sure. Uh, remember, back in 98, we had the same kind of singer with the same kind of song. She was called Marilyn, and she failed big time in uh, Birmingham with a very good track. So, but this one, believe me, that's a really, really good song. But she's not my favorite. My favorite is Malo. Malo with his song called Ciao. Okay, Malo is weird. Malo is in his world. He performs for himself on stage, uh, okay? It's like in a bubble. Uh, okay, the, the song is all about the music and the melody, not about the lyrics, really. It's all about music, melody, and making a nice atmosphere on stage. Uh, so some people may say, mm, this is not good for Eurovision, but remember what people say last year when Salvador Sobral won Festival de Canção. Exactly the same, exactly the same. And, to be honest, I prefer this song to Salvador Sobral's uh, entry. It's really nice, and especially the chorus. I love it. I love it. I think this could conquer... It's among the eight songs, that's the only one, in my opinion, that could really conquer Europe. 
uh, it could conquer the audience, even if some people may not like this type of song, but I think it could do very, very well uh, with the international juries. Um, so I cross my fingers because I really think that Malo uh, should be our, uh, our entrant this year and uh, it's been a long time, even, even Amir, Anma or before, it, it's been a long time since I haven't been so much positive about uh, a possible French entry. So uh, as we say over here, on croise les doigts, fingers crossed, and uh, we'll see which one of these eight, con eight contenders sorry, uh, will be chosen uh, on Saturday. So that's it for now, With uh, that's the end of the French review. I remind you that uh, you can share your opinion on the www.ecotimes.com uh, website and you can also predict um, the three winners on our survey. So uh, bye for now, as we say over here, à bientôt with more reviews. Ciao!